Mike's One Mic Podcast, where two mics talk on a mic about life. I am Michael Joseph Consolmagno Jr., one of the mics, and with me as always, I just sounded like Wayne from Wayne and Garth there, yes, but with me as always is Michael Anthony Zarzana. This is M-A-Z and M-J-Z, and this is the place to be to talk about everything. I think you messed up the initials just there. You said this M-A-Z is M-A- and M-A- M-A-Z and M-J-Z. No, no, you said M-A-C and M-J-Z. I, I think you fucking heard me wrong. Dude, I'm serious. Uh, you have to read it's it. loopy. Look, guys, it's Sunday night. We usually record these things Saturday morning. I, a little loopy. I, I, I'm pretty sure I said Z. No, dude. You think you heard Z? I'm play. I'm not playing it back now. But play it back after right we now. record it, and then we can go to the Twitter, which is our new thing. Play it back right now. We can. Go, I'm not playing it back right now. Do it. No, dude. Five balls. Dude. Five. I, I think if the anticipation of a bet is better, like we anticipate, we wait this hour, right? And then when I, I don't post it, up the catchphrase in the beginning. You. I don't, but you don't, you said you didn't. So now I don't you know if all, I did now. now I'm, see, see, I, I'm in your head. I'm in your head. I'm not going to give a good performance today. I can't start it off. What are you talking about? I fucked up. All right, let's go again. Take two. A little bit behind no, the scenes. I want to hear if I actually said it. You really want to hear if Yeah, you no, said I really do because then I'm going to have to go fucking suck your beer down. Oh, God. No, uh, no, 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 really. You really? You really? I, no, no, yeah. Right, no, right. I don't want to, I don't want to be flat. Like, I can't be flat, Mike. That's flat? Like, oh, dude, my God. video. This is, uh, we've never done this before. We've, we've never. I don't fuck it. We're always bouncing. Right. We, we can't just, we can't get a regular hour. We're all getting fucked. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm going to stop this. Here. Now listen to the, we're still recording. The sound of quality is going to go down for a second, guys, because uh, we're still recording. I'm not going to cut the episode for this, so. Are you really leaving this up? I'm really leaving this Would up. You? Yeah. You hear it? All right. So right now Mike's listening to our playback. This in, is in terrifying. The Okay, okay. Wait, hey. hey go. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, we're rolling in the show. See, we're rolling now, guys. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Two Mics, One Mic podcast, where two mics talk on a mic about life. I am Michael Joseph Consolmagno Jr., one of the mics, and with me as always, I just sound like Wayne from Wayne and Garth there, but with me as always we'll is Michael Anthony Zorzana. Dude. M-A-Z and M-J-Z. Thank you! You're no, 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 you said M-A-Z, I heard it! You just said M-J-Z. I said M-A-Z, I don't care about you, me, M-A-Z. All right, all right, all right, good. All right, all right, all right. You are M-J-C, and I, I am M-A-Z. I am, I am M-J-C. I'm M-J-C. Woo! Yes! 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 Uh, Win again! Yeah, 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 just like Charlie Sheen. Let's oh, see, let's, let's, that's, that, that's Daniel Bryan, thank you. Yeah, let's see how that works out in the long run. And Daniel Bryan, yeah, all right, so you can end up with a broken neck and retire prematurely. Woo, it wasn't a broken neck while he retired. Why, why did he retire? Too much punana? No, it was something in his brain. He was going to start developing tumors because he had too many concussions. Really? Fucking, you don't even know the shit going on. And I do your was, fucking, do your research. I thought it was a neck injury. Well, no. once, once the guy's gone, what do I have to look into it for? Okay. All right, so I, I I was gonna say we should have listened to it and went back and apologized on the Twitter. We are now on Twitter. This is a, a new thing, guys. And I will make sure to be bashing him on Twitter the uh, whole uh, time because he thought I messed up, but clearly he messed up. Yes. His brain messed up, and so did his fucking ears. He's going yeah, down. Yeah. Right. So it's at two mics one mic on Twitter. Yes. And, and and the Facebook page as well. The fan page is at two mics one mic after the forward slash. And you can always email us at uh, two mics one mic at gmail dot com. We have. Two mics, one mic dot com, which is our website. Uh, we're on iTunes. We're on SoundCloud. Many ways to get in touch with us. Sorry we're, about the. We're rest. on a lot of things. We are on a lot of things, and I think after this episode, we'll be on iHeartRadio because this is our sixth episode. iHeartRadio? Why would we be on iHeartRadio? Because iHeartRadio needs you to have five episodes up before it allows you to be on iHeartRadio. And now it's episode six, so I believe this episode as well will be on iHeartRadio. Really? Yes. We're going big time. We're, we're expanding. You're, you're going to text me all this? And yeah. I'm going to like, paste and copy? Yeah. And I'm going to post it on Twitter? Like, Yeah, absolutely. That's what Twitter's but for. But I'll always forget all this. Twitter's things. about all the nonsense that we, can, we can't say and people, you know, if people don't want to hear, we can still get in touch with these people. Yeah, no. We true. want the people. We want everybody. It's, you know what? And I, like, not, you know, Twitter's been around forever, so like, we're just, we're late to the party. And it's yeah, well, it's actually all... slightly pathetic, but yeah, I want to know who follows you and then unfollows you five minutes later. That's what I want to know. Who does it? I, you know, but here's the thing. You know, it's just these very fucking, fucking porn things. Yeah. Like, what is with the porn thing? Don't like, listen, if you're a porn person, 
Or you're trying to be, don't like my page. Don't like our page. Yeah. I got no time right. for that. I want people that are going to like the page and maybe will listen to the podcast that might actually enjoy it and give me some, you know, yeah. message us with some cool things. Now you're porn. Keep your porn to yourself. You know, here's, the thing, the, here's the good thing about Twitter, and I'm late to Twitter. I've had, I've had my own personal Twitter page for a while, but I never use it. It's at SI Filmmaker if anybody wants to contact me, but you don't have to. Just contact the Two Mics, One Mic page. The good thing about Twitter is it's already started to work. We already be- uh, found other podcasts. Yeah. We've already got together, and we've made an official pod clash. Taking it back to episode two. We did a pod clash recently with a guy called The Shaded Cell. And we didn't even set that up. It just happened. It didn't set that up. These are guys out in UK, so we've gone global. Now, they're not a big show, but we're not a big show. No. And we all help each other out. But uh, two mics, one mics is global. So you're at, you're in the beginning of something that's going to be huge. And Luke is a cool dude. Luke is a cool and dude. what was the other guy's name? My Real. Canadian brother? Yeah, but he's Canadian, so it doesn't matter. What's with your problem with Canadians? I love Canadians. Listen, listen. I, I, I'm not if I didn't live in America, over. I'd move to Canada. Like, Canada would be the second place I'd live. I love Canada. I love mooses. Way to really stretch out the comfort zone there. We can swing our arms all the way. Yeah, Canada. Woo! Maple syrup. It's sticky up in this bitch. Woo! Oh, jiggle, jiggle, titties. Yeah, yeah, jiggle, titties. Uh, anyway. You just like the Mountie uniform. I think I, that's what it is. You I like, like the, the Mountie brim. uniform? I like that this, that hockey's actually popular there. That's true. Rangers, go Rangers. I'm a go Devils the fan. They've never turned out. Playoffs, baby. Cup. Playoffs, baby. Where are we building? Playoffs. 25 years, they haven't had a Stanley Cup. We got three. Yeah, Let's well, start. you know. Just saying. Anyway, um, but uh, I want to start off with today so I make sure I have the juice for this. Yes, yeah. the juice. Ready? Here we go. I like going on, you know, comic book website, movie websites. Mm-hmm. Comicmovies.com and JoeBlow.com are my two favorites. I follow them on Twitter. I hope maybe they follow me on Twitter one day. Maybe. Um, so every time they post an article or anything, you know, you have to comment. Now, the article will just be talking about whatever, Batman vs. Superman. Mm-hmm. And like... <clears throat> Something specific, like Ben Affleck, put, you know, wore the bat suit, but he had to put Vance in the slot. Whatever the fucking stupid, you know, whatever it is. But the fan, you know, like, we're fanboys. Like, yes. we, we love superheroes, we love monsters, we love comics, we love, uh, uh, name more geeky things, we love. just give more geek, God, Japan Godzilla. Nation, Godzilla, wrestling. Yeah. I, uh, fucking, we wear shirts, like, I don't have Video any. Video games. I have plenty of shirts, I just don't yeah. have them here. Um, but the way they fight. Yes. Now, I'm reading something, and, and they're talking about, you know, ready? Mm-hmm. It was uh, the Jungle Book making 100, 100, 300, 6 million dollars. Yeah. Somebody had to make a joke about, wow, a movie that isn't dark or adulty, you know, <clears throat> Batman vs. Superman actually makes some money. Wow, I guess light and bright and funny do work. Yeah. And they just, you know, somebody actually went to the extent of, oh, well, and posted a thing saying, well, DC's comics and their car animated movies are outselling Marvel's da 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 And then other guys like, you you know, like, cursing about you, like, you fucking retard. Yeah. Blow your mother. If you look at the article, it says that, you know, they had, like, maybe six more books in the top 20 than them. They're yeah. not outselling them. They're just more books or something. A specific book is outselling more of a whole. Yeah. I mean, and, and they just... Like, they're fighting, and it's, like, serious. I'm like, and I'm all like, yo, like, sh- what the fuck is wrong with There's you? There's too much nerd-on-nerd nerd crime. There's too much geek-on-geek geek violence out on the internet. But here's the thing. People get the, inter- it, 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 they get the internet balls. What used to be, like, phone call balls. Like, they, they, they have this anonymity. That telephone they, tough guy. Telephone tough guy. Telephone yeah, tough guy, which people don't, will never know now because they just text. So, well, telephone we, tough we, guy. We, need a new, we need a new outlook for it. So, the, in, the internet irate, uh... Asshole, but people aren't directly in front of other people. They act all tough on the internet, and they lose their effing minds because th- the freedom to say anything starts twisting them into these dark characters of themselves. Because I'm sure the same guys that are bashing Batman vs Superman are the same exact guys that went out and bought the Batman vs Superman figure action figures. You know, the same guys that went out and yeah. bought the Marvel action figures if they're a straight DC guy. There's no straight DC or straight Marvel. Uh, now, I've, I'm a Spider-Man fan. I grew up reading more Marvel comics. But did I enjoy Crisis on Infinite Earths when it came out? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Did I read DC comics? Did I read Batman comics? Did I read Frank Miller comics? Yeah. Why is it one or the other? It doesn't have to but be I mean, they the actually other. sit there. I mean, like, if, like, <clears throat> if I'm a Marvel fanboy, yeah. I'm begging. Even though I paid to go see the movie. Yeah. I'm begging for it to fucking fail. So Why? I can say, ha ha, DC, your movies suck, Marvel's a bit... They're different. Yeah. The only re- the only movies I root against 
are things that will make my geekdom stronger. I rooted against the Fantastic Four movie because I want Marvel to eventually yeah. get the rights back to Fantastic Four because I want a good Fantastic Four movie that exists in the world that it created. Fantastic Four is the first family of the Marvel Universe. Yep. So yes, if you have a political agenda behind it, I can understand that. But if you're out there just to hate because you are Team DC or Team Marvel, that's retarded. And unfortunately, it doesn't just follow into geekdom. People are gang members by personality, it seems like, these days. It especially happens in, <coughs> in, um, in, uh, in climates like this year, which is it's a very political year, whenever you root for a president. People have people say, oh, I like this guy, I like that guy. You miss but only because they're Democrat Republican. Not do because you they like think, the actual people. Do you think... They don't even think about it. That... Yeah. I just, just, I'm just wondering. Yeah. They have Batman versus Superman. Yeah. And they have the Civil War. Do you think they waited... To put these movies out at the same time because it's a presidential election. Yeah, you think? I, I feel like I absolutely believe marketing behind is behind that because these guys aren't stupid. They know whenever there's a presidential election, the country is gets extremely divided. divided. <laughs> it's divided. It really does because people go into their gang camps. You're a crypt or you're a blood. You're a red or you're a blue. You know what I mean? You are a Democrat or a blue. So Captain America is perfect. Uh, Iron Man's in red. Captain America is in blue. What's our oh, what's our political system? We got uh, Democrats in blue, Republicans in red. You know, and even gang members. What's the Crips and the Bloods? The Crips are in blue. It's all the gang- Kings are in yellow. It, well, they, you know, they're outside. They don't. They're care. like Hank Pym and in, in the yellow jacket suit. Mm-hmm. They're just they're just doing their own thing. They go they go crazy. Hank Pym wasn't in the Snack yellow jacket suit. In the comics. You didn't watch the movie. Comics, <laughs> comics. Anyway. You didn't watch the movie. I'm bleeding genres. But yeah, no, I, I firmly believe that there's a marketing genius behind that going, you know what? People are in the mood for a fight. People are in the mood for groupings. It's, a, it's an election year. Perfect time to strike with this stuff. Or it could just be serendipitous. This could be a deep impact Armageddon thing where two similar concepts of a movie come out. They did that on purpose. <laughs> of course they did that on purpose. Oh, God. Yeah, of course they did that on but, purpose. Uh, but yeah, I was just like, you know, I, 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 I was... Like, when I posted the video on Twitter mm-hmm. after reading this stuff, like, I went like, into detail. And I said, I was like, honestly, I just like, you guys are just supposed to be sitting home in your mother's basement, masturbating to Japanese porn. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's what you're doing. Yeah. And you're on with your big, fat titties, and I'm not talking about a girl, I'm talking about a guy, greased up, eating a fucking Twinkie, dunked in fucking vanilla frosting, talking shit. Arr! Ah, you're fucking ah, oh, nah, Superman's better than better. Oh, that movie was so good. It was so fucking. And you just, you just, hey, fucking, you're a bunch of animals. Yeah, animals. Go pay and get laid. That's not true. I'm sure a lot of people are getting laid. No, no, these these people are not getting laid. You don't think they get laid? No, 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 no. To be that animate and brawling with each other. Yeah. Over this shit. Like, if that is so fucking important to you. No constructive criticism whatsoever. Just like, this sucks, this dies, you're terrible. The, the criticism is either. You got Marvel fans attacking. It's too dark. It, it's it's unhumorous. It's 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 a little boring. Yeah. Marvel, uh, uh, Marvel's owned by Disney, so it's too bright and there's too much funny in it. And you know what? Both movies, both um, Warner Brothers and Disney, because it's, it's Warner Brothers and Disney. Yeah. Um, the issue is that they don't know how. Yeah, sometimes um, there's some comedy that's misplaced in Marvel movies. Yeah, of course there is. And 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 yeah. I understand making everything, you know, you want to make things grounded and dark and serious. Not yeah. grounded because Batman was not fucking grounded. No. You got a man flying in the air with a laser beam. But if you're miserable as Clark Kent and you're miserable as Bruce Wayne, yeah. you're miserable as Superman and Batman, mm. what do you enjoy left? Just kill each other. Like, don't <laughs> kill yourself. Yeah, the only joy in that movie was uh, Wonder Woman smiling. Yes. Awesome. You know, a little bit you got a fucking Clark Kent with his girl. Like, but I, and I, I didn't mind, honestly, uh, on paper, I don't mind the difference. You know, you have you have a different feel. Otherwise, uh, everything just feels the same. So I don't mind that, as long as it's a good movie. And we've talked, we've had our episode about Batman vs. Superman, so I'm not going to read yeah, that yeah. So, but you can enjoy, as a comic fan, you can enjoy the movie and admit there's problems. Yeah. And just like you can enjoy a Marvel movie and say there was some missed opportunities, or there's there's some things you wish you, they wouldn't have done or, or you would have seen. Um, personally, Iron Man pissing his suit in Iron Man 2, I don't really need to see or, or have that happen, you know? Oh, I actually enjoyed that. You he's didn't drunk? Enjoy yeah. Oh, that was great. How do I go to the bathroom in the suit? But he's drunk. I just did. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's funny. Like, at least he's, he didn't just do it, like... Oh, fuck, I'm just going to go. And he yeah. beat it. Like, he was drunk. Like, it was, it was actually, you know. Yeah. I just mean, like, real quick, in Thor The Dark World, oh. the Loki scene was so intense. Now, I knew he wasn't dead. 
But yeah, that yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. It was intense. They did a great freaking job, man. And he's awesome. And then it's maybe, I don't know, two minutes later, they're already being funny. It's like, ah, that was, that was, you should have let that slow burn for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have let the, uh, the, my brother just died. I'm going to have conflicted feelings about, because he is my brother and I love him, but he's been a pain in my ass this whole life. Uh, it's not ready. It's not time to be funny again. You're right. Not You're yet. Right. Not yeah. yet. I'm sorry. I agree. Yeah. I, I know, I agree. That, but that, you know. But again, we are nitpicking. But these are the points. We're nitpicking it, but we're bringing constructive criticism. Yes. Like, you see how we talked about character first when we were talking about this? We're not just going, oh, that sucks, and how could dare they make a movie like this, and I never want to see another Thor movie again. You know, it, it's... it's. I'm sorry, but yeah. the one thing that's still getting me, the biggest thing was, like, you know, like the they're like, oh, um... You, what do you mean? Uh, DC movies are funny. Mm. You know, go save Martha. I'm still laughing about that now. They, they really, like this fucking Martha thing was that. Oh, Mike, I, 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 I had to like illegally download it yeah. and watch it. I don't see what was so funny about that. No, me neither. What other way were you going to combine the, what else were you going to make Batman like change his mind about killing him? Showing he actually has a mother. He just thought of him as an alien. Yeah. Now he thought of him as a person for one second. Yeah. Yes, their mothers have the same name. <laughs> They, is everybody in the DC universe or fanboys realizing this now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was pointed out in this movie. Because it was pointed out. Yeah. Oh, they have you gave them the same name. No, 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 no. Yeah. They've had the same name. They've had the you same dumb name. bastards Forever. for how many fucking yeah, years yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, it's older than me and you. It's like so. Yeah, stop that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they're both named Martha. Get over it. Martha, Martha, Martha. That's so funny. Old school names like that because the characters were created like in the thirties. You, I, I, I haven't met a Martha ever. I don't well, think. it's like, it's like... I haven't. It's like Kathy. My grandma's name is Kathy. Yeah, but there's some Kathy. Yeah, I know. I guess. Catherine's shortened for Kathy. But there's some names you just don't hear anymore. I don't know any Marthas. No. No, not too many Marthas anymore. All right. That's all right. But speaking of, of, of Marvel and DC... I'm just and, speaking of Marthas. And Marthas. <laughs> speaking of Marthas. Marthas Vineyard, where the president takes vacation. Yeah, as we were talking, we got very little political. With it. No, anyway. Uh, Marvel has released the Doctor Strange trailer. Marvel has released Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, the title, with a little bit of news. There has actually been so much news these last two weeks. We gotta try it to has been it out. insane. Yeah. It has been insane. Well, Spider-Man Homecoming is small, so... Sp- it's a small, a okay, small bit. It's called the Homecoming. Yeah. Clearly, he's coming home from to Marvel. Coming home to Marvel. It's a, it's a high school movie. It takes place in a very clever title. They put his little sim- spider signal as the O. It's like, oh, look how cute this is. They rounded the Spider-Man edges. Your DC fans probably ripped that apart. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, look how cute she is. Open spider for kids! It looks like an animated movie. You know, God forbid kids enjoy superhero movies. Let's yeah. just make them all bloody. I mean, really, yeah, exactly. Fucking idiots. <laughs> so, <laughs> Listen, I am well aware of the fact that I get my entertainment by reading about grown men in spandex as an adult. I also understand that grown men in spandex is not necessarily marketed towards a 39-year-old father. It is marketed or towards... a 34-year-old man. 12 and 11-year-old boys and girls. So, guys, we all want these things to be mature. We want them to be well-written. But we cannot lose sight of the fact that we were all once 12 or 11-year-olds, and this stuff blew our friggin' minds. Yeah. Blew it. Blew our friggin' minds. So there's nothing wrong with creating something that is geared toward children, but is smart enough to entertain adults. It's nothing. Yeah, nothing wrong. Two mics, one mic podcast. Yeah. We live in gray. Mm-hmm. We're not black and white. We don't live in the black and white. It's like, yes or no. Stop or go. Sometimes we have some. We pause opinions. and we keep going. So, you know, we don't just. It's we don't. We're not like that. Like you know, the world is. It's you can only like this or you can only like that. What if I don't like any of it? That was that yeah, yeah, exactly. you know, Don't tell me what I have to like. No. So that's just. Well, that's my thought about us. We're great. Yeah. That's why we've been friends. Course, listen, we're great people. The, the reason why. The reason why we're friends. The reason why we think is is I have never been ashamed to admit of what I liked. I have been made fun of for what I like my whole life, and there's just something about my culture, my personality, something about my culture, something about my family units that was like, if somebody makes money for something I like, and, and it's always been, yeah, and? Okay. Am I now all of a sudden not supposed to put away my books because Let you don't enjoy Let me take my action them? figure and put it right here! Yeah. I post, no, that's for don't you, be, YouTube. I think, I think what comes with this too is, it, but this gets to the point of what these fanboys are arguing about. I think it comes from an insecurity. I think it comes from of a, a little man syndrome of people that feel like they're getting beaten down or their opinions don't matter. But or, they're beating each other down. But here's the thing. It's, it's their anger coming out of what people they've felt. And they're becoming the abuser. It's the, they're taking the abuse that they, they feel they're getting from other people. See, I don't feel, I, I don't feel it's like... I don't, 
You know, it was when were they we, just assholes? When we were younger, yeah, maybe. But now it's cooler. It's it is cooler now. Yeah, this whole it stuff is, cool. is cooler. Yeah, it is cool. Superhero shirts like actors and models wear them. Like it's it yeah. it's it is cooler now. It hasn't been like that since '89 Batman, where everybody was. But that was only Batman and Joker shirts. It was everywhere. Yeah, it was. But now it's like across the gamut. Yeah, no. and it's not it's not just superhero stuff. It's like we said. You have the you have video game shirts people are wearing. Mm. You see a Legend of Zelda tee just as easy. A Mario tee just as easy as you see a Captain America. Now it's t-shirt. classic. Now yeah. it's nostalgia, you know. It's nostalgia. It's it's what we grew up with. Yeah, I'm still waiting for you know. We for a while there was some Thundercats uh, thrown in there. So, so oh, anytime videos. you wear a Voltron yeah. shirt, even pa- oh, well, Voltron's coming out June 10th. Yeah. yeah, the cartel. Uh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna check it out. I was hoping for a movie, but hoping for a movie. I, I thought it would be. It's pretty easy to make. You make Transformer movie. That's actually. But they all make it. I don't. I've, I was never a big Power Ranger guy, but they are coming out with a Power Ranger. Oh, movie. I'm pretty excited for that. I haven't seen anything about it yet. Just just the casting, the kids. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Elizabeth Banks. Yeah. She's playing Rita Repulsa. Really? Like, oh yeah, no, no, no. They, really? And it's called Power Rangers, not yeah. Mighty Morphin Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. All right. Yeah. I mean, thought about it. they're like, well, you know, they wanted to make like a superhero team of young people, like yeah. that they could do with the moment. I mean, Power Rangers kind of can. Do you think that came of because last year around this time, I think it was almost a year ago, there was a fan made Power Ranger short that was really dark and stupid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was. I thought it was stupid. I, I, thought, I didn't love it. But I thought it missed the point of. Of power, it was like doing drugs, and it was like you know. They made it, this that that would be <laughs> yeah. the DC version of power. The DC <laughs> version of power, <laughs> but that's what I mean. That's like when you take something that's a property that's supposed to be. And the Dawson was in that. Yeah, he was in that. The Dawson. The Dawson. Oh yeah, he played. Who, who did he play again? I forget. Jason. I forget. Uh, forget. Jason. Jason Vanderbeek would play Jason. No, no. I think he, no. They played. Who did he play? I don't remember who he played. Yeah. But no. At the end, of course, Tommy was the badass. But that that's but that's that goes into what we're saying about missing the point of these things. Yeah. Like, look, Batman lends himself to dark storytelling. So <coughs> a, a DC movie that's dark <coughs> Batman is great. Makes sense. Yes. Makes sense. But if you're gonna make a a Flash movie, it's not that feels that way. You're missing the the point. But I hope that Batman and Superman, we talked about that. I hope this is the darkest point of Batman versus Superman. And now is the time for, it's always darkest before the dawn. The Superman has died. Now is the time for it to not get, you know, it can stay serious, but don't be as dark. I see. I, I don't think they're ever going to get there. Now you have dark side coming. Yeah. It's getting darker. <laughs> it's going to get worse. It's yeah. not going to get better yet. I, I, you know, they went no. to, well, this is what happens when you don't base your characters or you just make you know, they didn't want to wait. Yeah. And they tried to throw more in. I still think, but, but whatever, we've Batman for seven. Right, yeah, yeah, no, 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 like I said, there was a ton of news. A ton of news that got me so excited to talk about this show. What else we and got? we're twenty two minutes in and we haven't talked about anything. Of uh, the Doctor Strange trailer. The Oh wait, wait, wait Doctor so Doctor Strange, let's hit that up. Let's now. hit up Doctor Strange right now. Uh, didn't do anything for me yet. Didn't do anything for you yet. I did like some aspects of it. I did like uh I didn't like the inception part of it. Yeah, none of us like And that. this is uh like like we said guys, we, we guessed it on the Shaded Cell podcast, which is gonna be on Monday. The 18th of April yeah. will be posted on his YouTube page. If you type in The Shaded Cell or Shaded Cell on YouTube, you'll be able to catch us. It's episode three. Uh, we do go into some of these topics, but in our own little way. <coughs> we kind of took over Luke's show. So if you like us, you're going to love the show. It was a good time. It was a great time. And we tried not to, and I had to try to stop oh, we couldn't help ourselves. talking all over these we were, poor guys. We were guys. complete idiots, man. We, we came in like gangbusters. I tried to be respectful. I stopped we, myself. Listen, we were respectful. It's just the fact, we, we have a, a faster pace. We're New York guys. He's a laid back, uh, United Brit? Kingdom guy, British guy. I just call him a Brit. We were there with a Canadian guy. A little more I'm confused. Fast. So, so he's friends with this Canadian guy? The, he, the kid lives in Canada, or he lives in... Britain now. I don't remember. No, he Luke lives in Britain and Real lives in Canada. Oh, and they're friends. And they're friends, like you know. So we had Canada, internet. Britain, and America. Yeah, we United Nations that bitch. We were like forming Voltron. That's right, and we. This goes back to what we were saying. Nobody wants to form Voltron. We talked about these in early episodes. Now we're forming Voltron. Yeah, if we're, we're having, hey, you help me. You scratch my back. I scratch yours. Yeah, but you, this podcast is funny because this pod we started. I got heartburn. Holy shit! Wow, what did you eat? I didn't do good today, my friend. I haven't been doing good all week. I had I had my daughter's fifth birthday party last week, yesterday at a pizza making place. Right? They brought out all dough, sauce. I ate nothing like but junk. And then today I had another kitty party. Ate nothing but junk. I got leftover food galore in the fridge from the pizza place. We talked. Oh, uh, we did talk about my wife's fortieth birthday you have party. Nexium? I uh, maybe upstairs. I don't all know. right, I'll get away. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll fight through it. You'll fight through it. 
But it, I'm dying over here. You're dying. <laughs> you're dying. There's nothing but parties. I, I, I feel like the last, this weekend, I got the five pound bloat going. I can see it. I need, I need to, I need a three day. Saturday morning, I woke. Saturday night, we went out. Yeah. I have my Buffy shirt on, my favorite yeah. Buffy shirt. I was looking great. Yeah. From Saturday night till today, I fucking, I'm all bloated. But by yeah. tomorrow, coffee of 10 minute poop, I'll be yeah. back to normal. I gotta, I gotta stay away from a bagel in the morning. And, and, you know, eat a little fruit, eat a sensible lunch, it'll be all right. A sensible lunch. A sensible lunch. What do you want? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, as of right now, like you said, it's 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 not much to go on. Cumberbatch looks looks great. Cumberbatch looks great. I yes. think it's gonna be. Um, I actually think talking about like a serious Marvel movie. I think this will be more serious in the beginning. Yeah. I think it'll go into his the tragedy of, of him being a doctor, and even more so than the first Iron Man, which like was snappy, and even even when he was in the cave with the uh, Yinsen, it was still a little fun back and forth. Yeah. This is a guy who's going to be completely alone in the Himalayas, searching for himself. You know, so it, it'll be a little. I think a little more introspective. I think it'll be a little more serious, a little more humbling than feel, what happened to Tony Stark. I, I also feel this is like Ant Man status. This is not going to be a big, big money grabber. I think this. It, they they like. Well, they put it in November for that yeah. reason. You know, if it's not coming out in the summer, they don't think it's going to make millions and millions. But they'll think it'll make enough to uh, push push the, fo- push the next one forward, kind of thing. You know what I mean? I think I think Ant Man will do at least. Two to three hundred million more next time it comes out with the oh, wasp. With the wasp, listen, I'm so happy, and this isn't a feminine power <laughs> thing, but I'm just so happy they're pushing more female superheroes no, on no, the no, screen no, no. because we. It's a, it, it's not that it's about time, and I want to be like a feminist thing. No, but these are cool characters. No, absolutely. And there are so many girls now that that read comics and watch this stuff. And that are, and like you said, casually watching this stuff, not fan girls per se. Yeah. And for them, for a Wonder Woman movie to come out, and then a Wasp movie, well, a, a, you know, a guest starring Wasp movie, a Captain Marvel movie on the way, it, it, it's only going to draw. Jessica Jones, even though it's not for just, kids. Exactly. But, just, it's only drawing. It's only feeding the fire more, because the conversation used to be, well, how many of these can they make? Before it gets old. How many things can they make before it gets tired? Well, the, the way you make it keep going is by bringing in new fans. And the way you bring in new fans is by opening up the genres to a bigger pool of people that are willing to buy we're, tickets. We're getting a Doctor Strange movie. Mm-hmm. We're getting an Ant-Man with a Wasp in it, a yeah. major character. Um, we're getting a Black Panther movie. Yes. We're getting all different things that you know speak to all different uh, types of people. You know? Organically. Or it's he, not just derivatives. It's not like we got Sam Wilson's going to be Captain America and there'll be Black Captain America and White Captain America. That's going to be Bucky anyway. Which is what they uh, did. Which is what they did in the yeah. comics. Or the Miles Morales Spider Man, and now we got Black Spider Man and White Spider. That I, I hate that shit. We've had a whole episode, podcast episode yeah. two. If you guys want to check that out, about fake diversity in comics versus real diversity. And what they're doing in the movies is they're keeping it real. You know, it's the, these are their own characters with their own motivations. They're not just derivative cowers, characters. And think I, about it. I mean, personally can't wait. On the, if you think about it, the Avengers had a team up right now. Yeah. You have two women. Yes. You have two black guys. Yeah. You have a robot. I don't know. If a robot. Anything. A synthetic man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you have everything. You have, yeah. you know. Rich guys. Rich poor guys, guys. Poor guys. Soldier. You, you have it all. Yeah. You know, you have it all. So there really should be no problems. Yeah. Like, anytime anybody's going to come out now, it's only to be... All right, there are no Asian guys. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, I don't know. I, I just... There are that many Asian characters. Cool ones. I don't like half of those Asian characters. I really don't. <laughs> Wait, I can't... I think of Shang-Chi. Yeah, crap. Who else? Yeah. Is that's another pro- that's a, it's a, a, Amadeus Cho? See, I like him. I like Amadeus with, with, the, with the Iron Man... With the spider... I mean, where's the, the Iron Spider suit, suit, suit the cartoon. They made yeah. him the Hulk in the books. Well, that works too, but that's stupid. Um, yeah, but there's been lots of Hulks now. There's been like you know yeah. Thund- Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Ross, and He's, the Red Hulk's the best. The Red Hulk, Hulk. you know, the, even A Bomb's a type of Hulk, which is Rick I love Jones. A-Bomb. You know, if the, they were smart. They'd go that route, Agents of Smash. I would go that route and make that kind of movie. Really? Oh, lots hundreds. of different Hulks. Them all being not Hulk, only yeah. ma- making only um, She Hulk. Yeah. Stay green the whole time. Yeah. But you don't have to make her gigantic. Uh, there may be She-Hulk news coming. There may be some She-Hulk TV news coming. Yeah, I saw that. I just feel like they're gonna fuck that up. So they're not. It's gonna be like when they try to make the Wonder Woman sh- a TV show, and they just made one bad pilot. Well, if they keep it on Netflix and they keep it short and they keep it contained, but I don't think they're doing that. I think ABC Family picked it up or Cloak and Dagger. They picked up something. Cloak and Dagger. I heard about Cloak ABC and Dagger. ABC Family. Well, the old ABC Family. I forget what they call it now. Uh, they call it Freedom or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, far as I always liked the Cloak and Dagger story, the origin story. They've just never, the, as characters, they've never really developed into their own. 
But their origin is really cool. Two kids, runaways on the streets, get uh, into drug trouble, uh, experimental drug program, uh, they, they end up getting powers, mm -hmm. you know. But it's, it's like a homeless... Same old, same old. <laughs> but it's like, it's like a really bohemian story, you know. It's like, a, like this runaway rock and roll type story, you know, where... where uh, these well, lost, they talk about making the runaways. These lost children find their way into superpowers, you know? The runaways are when they find out their parents are villains. Are supervillains, yeah. That is cool. I think that movie would be fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, that'd awesome. be badass. I, I, I read very little bit of it, but I just, just say, you know what? Like, you woke up, like, you find the scene and it's like, my dad's the Joker. Right? It's not yeah, the yeah. Joker, but it's like, well, you know, that's why Christmas is so colorful. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's got a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential. They're going to make comic movies until we're dead. Yeah, and if you keep attracting talent, and I hope the Michael Keaton rumor is true, if you keep attra attracting talented actors to get involved, why, you know, my mother loves Michael Keaton. You know, it's like Mr. Mo They're going to go see a Michael Keaton in a Spider-Man movie. You know, they, they remember him from Mr. Mom, they remember him from back in the day, you know, and he has kept his his fame, you know, even without doing too much work, you know, he sporadically does work, but he's great. I, I mean, I don't know who he's playing, you, you, you're you assuming it's the Vulture, I, there's a, a couple a couple of things <clears throat> they can go. Is he, I see the Vulture, like you said, um, um, the Mysterio, what was his name? Mysterio, yeah, yeah. Uh, Quentin Beck, he can even be Morlan if they wanted to do the vampire that eats spiders. Oh, I don't want that. But he's a relatively new character. He's not really that popular. No. But you never know. They even, they even well, on comicmovies.com, they, they even put the Jackal. The Jackal? Oh, yeah, because he cloned Gwen Stacy and uh, cloned Peter. Yeah, but it's like, uh... Yeah. I'd stick with the Vulture. I yeah. actually the Vulture would be cool. Yeah. Well, nice aerial battles. You can get some really good choreography there. I feel like, I feel like the new Spider-Man movie won't be... It's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. Yes, It yes. will not just be... Like, you'll have your... Only problem is... The only fucking problem. I think the movie will be the best Spider-Man movie. Yeah. But Marvel has dropped the ball again and again and again on the villains. Yeah. So there's a very good possibility they drop the ball on Spider-Man villains. But here's the thing. Spider-Man's got the best villains. He's got a Batman-like gallery of villains that are classic. I mean, I know we've seen Green Goblin now on the screen. You're not want to rehash that right away because it's a little old. But they haven't done... I mean, they did Electro. Ugh. They didn't really do Electro. They didn't really do Rhino. You know, they did a great Doc Ock. It's going to be hard to beat out for Molina as Doc Ock. They, we have not seen Venom. No. Nope. Really. We have not seen Venom. Uh, we have not really seen Sandman. You know, that was not... I don't know what that was. That, um, well, that third movie was just a mess. <clears throat> there were parts of the Sandman I liked. Yeah. I liked him playing Sandman. I um, liked the character. Yeah, the character. Really Tom, cool. Thomas Hayden Church. Thomas Hayden Church. I think so. He was really good. And I thought he, they really tried to give him... They really tried to make him slightly sympathetic. Yeah. His story. Uh, I think they just... There was just too much crying. Too much crying. Uh, they, everybody was crying. Yeah. It, it was a bad movie. That was a bad movie. It's a bad movie. movie. That's a bad bad movie. movie. I remember walking out of that movie. Excited. Best movie ever. This is so just... funny. We did. We saw that movie together. We walked out. We, we, were, we were high from the movie because we, we, we were like, oh, that was great. And then an hour later, we called each other and go... I, I don't really think that was a but good see, movie. But see, I honestly say, uh, here's, here's my issue with that movie. You took the ultimate version of Eddie Brock, kind of. Yeah. yeah, ultimate Eddie. Who used, young. But using the Venom yeah. from the original scenario. Yeah. So you mixed it up. Yeah. You know? Not, you know, movies got to do their own thing. I like what's his name. I, I thought he was a pretty good jerk off. Topher Grace? To, I really yeah. did. I thought he actually wasn't bad. I know, I, I, regular Eddie Brock, straight up normal old school Eddie Brock. Yeah, bodybuilder. He's Ed, boring. Yeah, he's, bo he's a little boring. He's boring. Yeah. And like, and they say they're talking about making the Venom movie. I'm not doing Eddie Brock. No. I'm doing fucking, I'm doing Flash Thompson and I'm doing fucking... Agent Venom? The yeah, I am. Yeah. If you're going to make the standalone, I, I say it like this. You start it off, you make him Venom, but whatever which way, how he, like something happens and he needs to fight or something off... And he's like, I, you know, this ain't me, this ain't me. And he turns into, it becomes that sleek soul. That character's cool, man. I like Agent Venom. I do enjoy it. I had, I actually a big fan of Here's Agent Here's the Venom. funny thing about Venom. He hasn't actually been Eddie Brock in a long time in the no, books. Yeah. I mean, Flash Thompson has been Venom for, for quite a while. But even before Flash Thompson was Venom, the suit was jumping around. It was on the Scorpion, another great Spider-Man villain, for a long time. It was on Scorpion for years. And before and and, and uh, originally they had said when the the suit when they first did the suit storyline they kind of wanted the suit to jump from character to character to character, almost like you know like it was looking for the right host. But I think they've kind of found their niche with Flash Thompson. Yeah, I like. You know, Flash he's part Thompson. of the Guardians of the Galaxy now in the book. 
you know, he's, which he's, makes sense because he's got his, he's got my son has a toy of Agent Venom, uh, and he's yeah. got the original Venom toy, just because the original Venom look was so amazing. We're looking up, Mikey. Mikey's doing some research as we're doing the podcast. I, you know, I like just keep it fresh while we're talking. No, there, nothing good. But there was another thing that you really enjoyed that came out, and this is something that may not a lot of people may not have an in on. Oh, the the, the, to, the Toho, the new Godzilla the trailer, Toho Godzilla yeah. Resurgence, mm-hmm. mm, Resurgence. Um, is that the official name, Godzilla yeah, Resurgence? Yeah. It's, Do yeah. they announce the names in English, even though it's a straight no. up Japanese movie? No. No. We you have to. No, we we translate. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um. It looks cool. I mean, it's a teaser. It's very little, but Godzilla looks like the Freddy Krueger of Godzillas. Yeah, he's, he's really ripped up. He's ripped up and The Walking bloody. Dead. The Walking Dead Godzilla, yeah. I think you call him. Yeah, but then I re-looked at it. I'm like, that's more like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, he a little burnt up. A, yeah, that's what he looks like. But I gotta tell you, it, 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 looks, it looks interesting. Yeah. Um, it's Godzilla heavy, the trailer, because Tokyo, you know, Toho knows that at the end of the day, we don't really care about the people in Godzilla movies. No. We never have. They're fodder. And I feel like that's the problem with the American version of Godzilla movies. Godzilla is the character. Mm-hmm. Now, clearly, he doesn't speak English, so you need to have some human aspects. But you don't need to have that kind of... You don't need to have, like, you know... Like in the last one, which I enjoyed very much. It's like the Joker. Have I seen the Joker on, in film yet? No. No. Have I seen a American Godzilla comparable to a Godzilla in to- Tokyo Godzilla Japan movie? No, I haven't. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, and I don't have to be perfect, but I haven't seen the I haven't seen the movie yet. Like I'm, even the end with the let them fight. 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 Let okay, them. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let them fight. So no, so even then, even then, at that moment, he wasn't uh, full on Godzilla. See the the stuff that was going on with him, that character and the soldiers, like they came in, da 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 da, they got out. That's exactly what I wanted. You, the problem is if you're going to do it right, you have that, that, that little part with mm-hmm. you know the um peop, you know the, the uh, military and the doctor. You have that part, great. Yeah. Now the Brian Cranston and and, and uh, Aaron, what, Aaron, what's his name? Aaron Thomas. Oh, kick ass. Uh, yeah, Taylor Thomas. I Aaron, don't know. T- whatever. Uh, I don't know what he's. Like. We don't remember anybody. Their little parts were. Yeah. The biggest mistake in that movie was they killed Brian Cranston. Yeah. I'm so sorry. That was the mistake. Well, you know, he he was the he was the the the, the original. Who was it? William Burr, Raymond Burr character. Raymond Burr didn't die, and he wasn't in the original. They put him in after. For the yeah, American I mean, for the American. Audience. But he didn't die. Yeah, no, he didn't die. But he was just the introduction. He actually was movie. back in 1985 when they made Godzilla 1985. I Raymond remember Burr that. Yeah, dude, I remember that. That was like huge. That was like everywhere. I remember the posters it's on my that. favorite. Godzilla 1985 was everywhere, but that was a Toho movie that yeah. made it to uh, to America, right? <laughs> Which very rarely happens. We don't see Toho movies on the big screen here. Very they, we usually get just the DVD releases or the, or the video releases. Very rarely. And even then, you have to like seek, seek it out, right? All right? Did you just forget we were on a podcast? Because I did. They weren't on a podcast? First time that I forgot we were doing a podcast. Really? Yeah. No, the, the headphones kind of keep me... Uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> oh. The, having the headphones on actually keeps me in the oh, podcast all right, mode. All right. all right. Did we miss anything else? Or else no, we, we did miss things. Yes! Of course we missed things. Well, well, you know, even though I like to shut him down sometimes because yeah. he rambles, but he's been doing some cool stuff. Yes. And he forgot to tell us last time about the cool stuff. Yeah. Shit, I wanted to talk about myself. I was like, you talked so much and you didn't want to talk about yourself? Yeah, I like talking about myself. So, you, um, you're um, you going to be directing something or you did I did. Something? I did okay. I did a day of directing. I did a second unit director shoot on a movie called Shooting Clerks. Okay. It's, it's a, a movie that is about the making of Clerks. So, it's a Kevin Smith biopic. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's the whole thing. It is, it's going to be in black and white. Who's filming this? Uh, shit. Shit, I should have came up with my notes. I did this like a month ago. All right, all right, all right. No big deal. All right, no, he's... because the kid gave me a good opportunity. He's uh, he's not a local filmmaker, right? So he's we had to shoot a scene in New York. Uh, we had the actor, we had the talent in New York. There was very limited time to get it done. Um, they reached out. I uh, because of the podcast, I've been involved with people. I we started getting involved with people. So I got I got reached out. They you know a little bit of my uh, it, that was in my wheelhouse. And I got a little bit of second unit directed work out of it. And it was a lot of fun. And I really hope the movie goes places. Because even though it's a biopic about Kevin Smith, Jason Muses is in it. Really? Yeah, Jason Muses is in this movie. It's a black and white movie. And, and for nerds and the geeks who you listen to this, James, uh, James Ralph, who is the angry video game nerd 
is also in this movie. Oh, really? So it's got a couple of people in it that will generate some interest. So I have a feeling this is going to go to festival markets and may even get picked up for a limited release somewhere. Oh, that's cool. And I feel that uh, it was a great opportunity and I was happy to do it. I haven't been, like, like we mentioned on our first podcast that the reason why me and Mike are doing this is because we like to do creative things. We like to make our own movies. Yeah. We don't really have the time anymore. So two, so an hour every two weeks of us getting together and shit, shooting the shit, A, 